Aquaculture is the cultivation of seafood in a managed environment. There's an increasing worldwide demand for seafood and decreasing wild stocks. Marine farming in New Zealand is currently worth $380 million. New Zealand's aquaculture industry aims to reach $1 billion in sales by 2025. Aquaculture is a growing industry with huge potential, which is currently providing over 10% of the national value of the New Zealand fishing and aquaculture sector. Worldwide, it's much more. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization predicts a shortfall of 75 million tonnes of fish by 2025 and that over half of all seafood consumed globally will be farm produced. There's a major opportunity to supply fish to the world. Aquaculture is the world's fastest developing source of animal protein, growing by more than 60% over the past decade. Northland has an ideal onshore and sea environment for aquaculture development with its plentiful sheltered harbours and estuaries, available coastland and mild climate. Northland is notably home to NIWA's world-leading fisheries and aquaculture research centre. Its base at Bream Bay supports a growing aquaculture industry throughout New Zealand, including oyster and abalone farming and the development of the world's first on-land kingfish farm as well as development of sea-based fish farm species, including hapuka. Niwa has the largest team of aquaculture specialists and dedicated facilities in New Zealand. There are existing competitive advantages for aquaculture in Northland through the research and development facilities at Niwa Bream Bay. Niwa is at the forefront of kingfish aquaculture research and is rapidly developing the commercial scale production technology needed to capitalize on this potentially lucrative market. The seawater temperature is right for sea-based culture for kingfish in Northland. New Zealand kingfish are particularly suited to the Northland climate. Commercial catches of New Zealand kingfish are small, seasonal and unpredictable. And although they're not included in the quota management system, the quota tonnage is small. Closely related species are farmed overseas, so aquaculture of the New Zealand species can provide a reliable and controlled production of quality kingfish to supply growing domestic and international markets. Niwa's research has identified kingfish as an ideal aquaculture species because it's highly valuable per kilo with excellent flesh quality for a range of product options, has a rapid growth rate reaching marketable size of 3 kilos in 12 to 15 months, is amenable to aquaculture conditions and has significant domestic and international market opportunities. Niwa has developed commercial scale hatchery production technology for kingfish that will allow New Zealand to capitalize on this potentially lucrative opportunity. The New Zealand farmed oyster industry has been established since the early 1960s and today is a multi-million dollar export and local market industry producing currently $20 million of output. The Pacific Oyster arrived in New Zealand some 50 years ago via shipping, flourished in the New Zealand environment and has since dominated virtually all oyster growing waters in New Zealand. Northland is the key area for oyster farming in New Zealand with farms operating in every harbour in Northland and many of the sheltered inshore bays particularly with intertidal waters. There's an opportunity for processing and export packing in Northland. At present, they're mostly all in the Auckland region. The typical attributes of New Zealand farmed oysters are New Zealand's renowned best food safety standards and fully sustainable production, large and plump oysters with high meat to shell ratios, and production from April to December. World market demand for New Zealand's quality oysters is very positive as supply problems increase for the existing largest producers due to water quality and sustainability problems. The Northland power industry currently produces $10 million annually of output and has the potential to at least double by 2030. In many markets worldwide, abalone are considered to be a delicacy and fetch a high price at market. Because of their high market value, the prospect of aquaculture of abalone is extremely attractive. Overseas, a number of production technologies are used to farm abalone. New Zealand abalone, or power farms, have traditionally been land-based and configured to operate on flow-through water supply, where the water is pumped from the sea over the power 
and then allowed to return to the sea. The largest New Zealand power farm is Ocean's Blue Power Limited, located in Northland at Niwa's Bream Bay Park facility, currently on track to become the first 100 tonne production facility in New Zealand. In the early days, the existing export markets for power required the blackfoot pigment of power to be removed. Now these export markets appreciate the darker pigment characteristics of the New Zealand Blackfoot product. NIWA provides NZQA accredited training courses on power farming and water quality control in closed systems. The greenshell mussel industry has the potential to grow from a $1 million to a $20 million per year industry in Northland by 2030. Mussel farming takes place out to sea. Mussels are suspended on ropes in cool, pristine waters where they grow from spat to mature shellfish. Because they never come into contact with the seafloor, they remain free from sand and grit. Northland's only mussel marine farm at this stage is a 22 hectare site owned by Westpac Mussels and located in the beautiful far north of New Zealand, just outside Hohora Bay. Another proposed site is underway outside Whangaroa Harbour at Stevenson's Island where consent's been granted for their 94.5 hectare expansion in Northland. Named for their characteristic green shells, New Zealand green-lipped mussels are a native mussel, unique to New Zealand. There's a huge export opportunity for this product. Westpac mussels are shipping as many as can be produced and are constantly unable to keep up with demand, having to refuse large international orders due to lack of supply. Northland is also unique in that 90 Mile Beach is the main place in New Zealand where mussel spat washes up, supplying 75 to 90% of the total mussel spat which is used in the aquaculture industry in New Zealand.